check out our sponsor, the Safe and Vault store right now. That's the Safe and Vault store. Click the link below right now. Check out all their safes, their rifle, gun, burglar safes. Check out their Liberty Biometric safe, which they sent me. It's awesome. Protect your guns. Click that link below right now. Visit our sponsor. That's the Safe and Vault store. Hey, everybody. I'm Christopher Green, and you're tuning into AMTV Alternative Media Television. Today is Monday, September 21st, 2015. And in today's video, you'll learn the real reason the Federal Reserve of the United States, even though it's not from the United States, isn't a part of the United States, actually a private company, it's not public at all, the real reason they won't raise interest rates, the real reason Janet Yellen won't hike. What could be so severe that would prevent Janet Hoare, criminal scumbag Yellen, from raising interest rates? Why would she prevent savers in this country from getting a rate of return? Why would they artificially suppress rates at zero forever, going on a period of 10 years where there has not been a hike? I believe it was a Reuters journalist even asked Janet Yellen on Thursday whether or not they would just hold interest rates at zero forever. To what should have been the mainstream media's astonishment, yet they haven't even reported on this, she actually answered she couldn't take that possibility off the table. That she, in fact, might keep interest rates at zero forever. In fact, the next hike in interest rates will actually be negative. There was a CNBC report that came out over the weekend, which I tweeted out. I sent it out via Twitter. Make sure to subscribe at AMTV Media. That suggested that during the next crisis, this came from a professor urging the Fed to implement this, that during the next crisis, the next crash, like 2008 and 2009, where people's homes get foreclosed on, they gotta turn in their Escalades and Mercedes that they can't afford, because it was based on the bullshit funny money system of 0% interest rates and liquidity in the first place, which again is a money illusion created by nothing and out of nothing so that the big banks can pickpocket you and then make money on the upside and then basically force bailouts through the hand of a gun like they did in 2008 and 2009, and by the way, got away with it. Not a single presidential candidate's even talking about it. But they're keeping rates at zero into infinity, not even raising 25 bips or 50 bits, but instead are going to actually move rates into the negative territory, like what we've seen in Europe, in the Eurozone periphery countries. That's the tool in the tool shed that makes up Janet Hoare Yellen during the next crisis. Instead of a hike when the market corrects more than its current 10% and there's a crash, we'll just take rates in theory. I guess into infinity, into negative territory. In fact, that's such crazy town. That's such crazy talk. I want you to imagine this for a minute, that if they start taking rates into negative ter territory, we've already actually had real negative interest rates, but if they have in, in purposely put interest rates below zero, we will have an environment where let's say a saver wants to deposit a dollar at your local bank or credit union because you're a saver, you know, and, and you want to save for your future, like plan for your retirement and stuff, or save for your, co your kid's college education or something, or maybe put it away for a rainy day. You'll deposit your cash dollar backed by nothing, based on nothing, created from nothing, from a criminal federal reserve, not attached to gold or commodity or anything. You'll deposit your dollar and they will credit your syst the system digitally it's all moving digital. This is what's happening now. Only 98 cents. So you'll have a negative 2% rate of return on your single dollar deposit. And people ask me why I invest in things like gold and silver, why I diversify my basket. This is the type of insanity we're moving to. So what's the reason? I mean, what's the underlying reason? Why can't they raise rates if the Federal Reserve, according to them, has a dual mandate to maintain employment and price stability and their funny money fakery, their number is at like 5% for unemployment right now, and the stock market has rallied two to three times since the 2008-2009 trough, why can't they bump at least 25 bips? Notice how the stock market actually corrected 10% on just the idea that was coming from people's minds, the idea that they would raise 25 bips. I mean, the Federal Reserve could have even risen rates instead of 25 or 50 bips, it could have raised like 15 bips or 18 bips, or eight bips. They could have made some move, but they didn't. And the reason is, this system is so fragile, there's so much fakery, it's built on such an illusion, and such a foundation of sand. If they even hike 25 basis points or less, the entire system will crash and burn. I mean, what would Americans do if they didn't have access to 0% credit? What would the hedge funds do 
if they weren't banging Janet Hoare Yellen for those 0% interest rates. Again, the hedge funds borrow at zero at the federal open market window, then trade 20 to one leverage on a single dollar that they borrow for free and jack up our markets creating even larger bubbles. And then they pay taxes through a carried interest loophole of only 20% capital gains tax rate when the ordinary guy pays up to 40% ordinary income, your truck driver or your nurse or your general Joe on the street pays up to 40% while the hedge funds, some of these guys make $100 million a year or more. I'm serious, they make like 100 plus million dollars a year, some of these guys, and they only pay 20% versus the 40% some high income wage earners like nurses and firefighters, et cetera, do in this country. This has been talked about a little bit uh, during the presidential debates. It's such a crisis, things are so fragile, it's such an illusion that the Fed just can't raise rates. We've talked about this for years. They can't because it will crash the entire system. That would be the black swan. Again, they gotta keep the herd and the masses drinking this liquidity, you know, inhaling and swallowing all the fluoride, uh, mesmerizing them with all this mainstream media propaganda. I mean, go out, buy your Mercedes, uh, you know, uh, take out 15 credit cards, margin yourself to the hilt, buy the house you can't afford, lube it up into infinity before the next great crash. It's exactly what's happening now. I mean, have we not learned from any of our mistakes? How is it that we've already forgot about the 2008 and 2009 financial crisis? Notice how every single one of these scumbags have gotten away with it. They have literally gotten away with murder. They stole from you through the power of a gun, didn't ask, they didn't take a vote, stole trillions and trillions of friggin' dollars from you and won. Not even a single one of these presidential candidates is talking about it. Maybe Bernie Sanders a little bit, I admire him for that. Rand Paul's talked about this. Ron Paul, more importantly, talked a lot about this. That should be our number one focus, folks. If I ran for president, the number one talking point that would make up my agenda would be end the criminal Federal Reserve. This private criminal enterprise that is basically just shaking Americans by their heels, stealing. It's wrong and it will not end well. You know, really this is our greatest fear, folks, because we have never seen anything like this in the history of the world. Every great civilization will crash and burn. We see this in history, whether or not it was Rome or any other great civilization will crash and burn as a byproduct of spending too much, as a byproduct of leverage, of a byproduct of imperialism or these wars overseas. Also notice, I wanted to touch on this a little bit, that during the presidential debates, they kept talking about Syria. We've been talking about this for years, how this is a part of the agenda, more war. They're not de-escalating out of the Middle East, they're escalating. Senator Lindsey Graham of North Carolina even suggested that he would deploy up to 20,000 new troops to Syria and Iraq to build upon our existing 3,000 troops that we already have there. See how it's a part of the agenda? You see how the Federal Reserve is now, not just the Federal Reserve of the United States, even though it's private and not public at all, and nobody really knows that. Most of the uneducated masses don't know that, that drink the Kool-Aid. It's not just policing the US, they're policing the entire world. Their blame game, the reason for not raising interest rates a measly 25 basis points or less during the recent FOMC meeting was because of China, because of uh, the worries and commodity prices, you know, and China's markets crashing. Now, they will always be able to pick a country uh, in the hundreds and hundreds around the world that isn't doing well or an economy that isn't doing well at a given point of time. So it's very convenient for them to play this blame game. Now, the Federal Reserve has lost all credibility at this point. They have zero credibility. Anybody that is smart enough to just do this, which you know, can be difficult for some people, but do this, can, can come to terms with this. It is absolute insanity. The real reason the Federal Reserve will not raise interest rates is because they can't. This is how bad off we are. This is how serious the situation is. They would rather hurt savers, hurt retirees, actually take interest rates into negative territory during the next crisis and launch another round of quantitative easing, QE4, or they'll come up with some other name to massage the real truth, then they would do what's right, which is basically get out of debt, right size the country, our system, our economy, put people back to work, charge these criminals on Wall Street and at the Federal Reserve with crimes, 
They would, they would rather do the opposite of all of that. Again, it is amazing to me that these people actually got away with it. They scapegoat Bernie Madoff, and he was a very bad person, but they scapegoat him and every single last one of these other scumbags that have created, caused, fabricated, orchestrated the crisis post-September 11th to steal from you, sail off into the sunset. And nobody cares. Nobody even talks about it. It's not even a talking point during these debates. This is insane. It's only, it only proves what the real agenda is. Again, the same reason they're letting all these migrants in in Europe, we're letting migrants coming in from Mexico. It's not to help these people. Most of them aren't Syrian refugees. The whole reason is it accelerates the collapse it increases the debt, it inverts the upside down pyramid, and accelerates the agenda that implements this new world order. This is the agenda of these elites, of the families that actually really govern and own the world, and even owns Wall Street. Again, the rabbit hole digs deep, folks. This is all a part of this illusion. It's all a part of this system. And if we continue to allow the Federal Reserve to exist, and we don't demand our politicians and this phony one-party system that makes up this, if we don't demand it, we are all responsible for it. We are all at fault. We can ignore it, we can put our head in the sand, but if we do not demand real change, we are a part of this criminal enterprise. We are a part of this criminal institution. We are helping to encourage criminal bailouts. We are allowing ourselves to be stolen from. It's time the American people that are far stronger in unison, are far stronger together, take responsibility for their own lives. Point out the criminal agenda and fraud that is being committed right before our very eyes. Hold each and every single one of these GOP candidates and these Democrat Democratic candidates, hold them to these principles. Talk about it, email it, call them on it, get in front of their faces and demand they answer your questions. End the criminal Federal Reserve today. Do it for yourself, do it for your children, do it for this country. I'm Christopher Green, get this video out everywhere, make it viral, hard hitting it in your face, and click the link below to support our sponsor.